4.2. Identify that protons and neutrons in a nucleus have the properties of spin and describe how net spin is obtained. So a spinning nucleus carries an angular momentum that is related to spin number. The spin number is a quantum mechanical number and is basically determined by the number of protons and neutrons inside the nucleus. So we learnt in the previous videos there are three groups for the values and they're shown in the next sentence. However, the key thing is here that I've made for this slide and this video in particular is the two questions that you can use or a key that you can use to find net spin. So basically I'll summarise that key and hopefully this gives you enough information in the video. I've also got a table there to help you if you prefer tables. However, the question is common sense and straightforward. So the question number one is if the mass number is even, if yes, you go to question two, no, then the spin number is a half integer. So now going to question two because the mass number was even, is the atomic number even? Yes, then the spin number is zero. And if no, then the spin is a whole integer. So using these two um, questions, you can determine the spin number by using um, the properties of mass number and atomic number. If you're not satisfied with that, I've put a table and I've also put um, a few sentences above the questions which basically describe how to um, get spin number. Okay, so that there is just a simple overview. The questions I got um, my students to highlight and I recommend you using those questions because they're short, simple and give you a clear indication of what this um, syllabus.point wants you to use.